My name is Burkhard Ulrich and I welcome you to my talk on a unified PWM switch model for current and voltage mode control with automatic transition between discontinuous and continuous conduction mode. The background of my talk is the classic PWM switch modeling approach, which is used for average circuit modeling of DC-DC converters. And one problem with this approach is that there are different models for different operating modes, for example, continuous and discontinuous conduction modes, and that the models are only usable for a single control mode. Therefore, we have different models for current mode and voltage mode control. Although there exist auto transition models which can be used both for discontinuous and continuous conduction mode, there is no single combined model which does this for current and voltage mode. Therefore the question is if it is possible to derive a unified model which covers all these operating modes in both control modes at the same time using the same sub circuit. And such a unified model is proposed here and summarized in this slide. Basically, it integrates an auto transition voltage mode PWM switch model, which is shown here in blue on the right side, with an integrated modulator circuit shown in red. It is configured using four parameters, switching frequency, inductor value, and VR, which is either the value of the compensation ramp in current mode or the value of the amplitude of the carrier voltage in a voltage mode PWM modulator. The last parameter is the current sensor gain KS, which is only used in current mode. AC effects in current mode are modeled by including a capacitor across the common to passive terminals as shown on the right in the circuit implementation. The auto transition voltage mode PWM switch model, which is part of the proposed modeling approach presented here, is summarized using the waveforms and equations shown on this slide. It's the same model as proposed by Basso in his book, and basically the idea is to use the same equations describing the average terminal quantities in both discontinuous and continuous conduction mode and switch between the modes by limiting the relative diode conduction time D2 using equation 3. The second part of the model is the modulator circuit, which which is shown here in red and which is described by the waveforms shown on this slide and the equations 4 to 6 summarized on this slide. Basically, a reference voltage is subtracted from the control voltage and compared to the sensed inductor current at the comparator to generate the duty cycle for the main switch. One specialty is that the modulator circuit is modeled in a way that by setting the sensor gain Ks to zero, the modulator will automatically behave as a voltage voltage mode modulator and therefore we can switch between voltage and current mode. On the other side this model includes the equation 6 which selects the correct duty cycle in current mode operation to switch between discontinuous and continuous conduction mode. The model is implemented in LT spice using behavioral sources and can be used in simulations using the sub-circuit symbol shown on the left, which has the same three connections, active, common and passive, as the classic PWM switch model, but the input is here always a control voltage from an error amplifier. To test the proposed model, both transient as well as AC analysis simulations were carried out. Here, Example results from a boost converter simulation are shown. On the right side, the waveforms are summarized for the output voltage and the inductor current during a startup transient and the control voltage step at 5 milliseconds. As can be seen, the waveforms match very well between the average and switched circuit and also the discontinuous to continuous conduction mode transition is modeled correctly in current mode. As a second simulation result on this slide, some control to output transfer functions are presented. Here, the new proposed model is compared to the classic PWM switch model. And as can be seen, the control to output transfer function of this boost converter is identical in voltage mode. And in current mode, we also have very good match, but at higher frequencies, there is a small deviation compared to the existing models, but the effects of peaking at half the switching frequency is properly described. In conclusion, we can say that the new unified PWM switch model is proposed, which uses just a single sub-circuit for both current and voltage mode, and which can automatically transition between discontinuous and continuous conduction mode. The model can be changed from current to voltage mode just by changing the model parameters, and it also predicts the AC effects in current mode. The model is suitable for transient and AC analysis, as shown by the results, and show good agreements compared to existing models and switched circuits.